Hey folks, welcome. Did you know you can show specific questions to user based on the user's answer in Google Forms? Yes, using conditional questioning feature in Google Forms, you can show questions based on the user's response. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at this feature using a very simple example. So the Google form that we're going to be using is a feedback form that contains for five different sessions. So the plan is to display the session feedback questions based on the options selected by the user. So here we have three sessions that is session one, two and three. So if the user say selects the session two saying getting started with Google Sheets by Ben Collins, he will be taken to the section two part of the feedback. In the, the next thing that we're going to be doing is going ahead and creating sections. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating three different sections for session one, session two and session three. Even so if the user enters session one, he'll be taken to that. To create a section, I'm just going to click on the question and I'm going to click on add section. And here you can see that the section has been created. Here you can, you can give either the name and the description or you can just give a name. So I'm going to say session one, I'm going to write feedback. And here I'm going to be adding a question to add a question. You need to click on the add question button here. And here, when you click it, I'm just going to add a question saying rate this. I'm going to say very good. I'm not, if you want to change the question type, you can do this here. I'm going to say it's very good. And the last option. And if, if you want, I'm going to add one more question saying, would you like to give any comments? Make sure that the question that you are using has to be in a multiple choice question. Even in this question, you cannot be, you cannot use the checkbox button here since the section based questions in Google forms is only for the multiple choice type of question. Now I'm going to be doing the same thing for all the three. Here you can see I have successfully created the Google form. I have added all the three sessions. Now let's take a look at it in the preview. Now here, if I see, I can see feedback form and I can do it. If I do next, it will take me to the next session. Now it's time to add the feature for this video that is going to be section based questions. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to select the question here. We're going to click on the three dots and click on go to section based on answer. You can see next to each option you have a, you have a choice to choose which section you want to move to on clicking the specified option. To specify the section, we're going to be click, uh, clicking on this drop down here. And as this is going to be session one, so I'm going to take it to go to section two, session one feedback. I'm going to do the same thing for the other ones. I'm going to say session two. And for this one is going to be session three. So here you can see that I've selected the session one section. So if the user now selects this first option, the user will be taken to the second section in the Google form that will contain the feedback for the session one. The same will be applied for all the sessions. Now it's done. Now it's time to take a preview at what we have done to preview the form. We need to click on the preview button at the top. And now I'm just going to enter my name here saying Ari Nirani and I'm going to put in my email address. Now I'm going to select, say, I want to go to the section session one, I'm going to click on next. Here you can see I've been taken to the session one feedback now. If I say I, I want to go to the session two, I'm going to click on next and it will take me to the session two feedback. So you can see that our section based questions has successfully worked. Uh, this is all for this video. I hope you've understood how to use this feature in Google forms. I'll be leaving the form link in the description if you want to work with it. Also, if you prefer reading the blog, there is another link in the description. You can check that out. Also, I'll be leaving a Google form link in the description. Say you want me to make specific videos for you. For your doubts or stuff you can put in your doubt in the google form and i will surely make a video on that if you like this video then don't forget to like share and for more content hit the subscribe button i'll see you in the next